what's up guys in today's video we'll be making tumblers uh, using the shrink wrap method instead of the tape method uh, the shrink wrap method is much easier much more consistent just overall less of a frustration to use so without further ado uh, this is how you do it all right guys let's go ahead and get started on the design we know the cups uh, are 2.9 inches in diameter so that's going to yield us uh, 2.9 times uh, 3.1415 about 9.11 so we'll do like 9.3 to be safe 300 dpi and we know they're eight and a quarter tall so we're going to do eight and a quarter tall and we'll do 9.3 width rgb uh yep just like that and there we go there's our wrap and my wife specifically wanted something uh where is it Um, yeah, customers, um, Southpaw Studios, and we're going to go to the purchase files, do the Grinch, and bada boop boop, pow. That actually is going to be pretty cool on the cup. Like, it might even be a little too big. But that's okay. That's what she wants. So this is going to go on a glitter, um, a glitter cup. So it'll, that the simple. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that green. We're gonna go ahead and swap it. To swap it, I usually just do an adjustment and uh, replace a color. I'm gonna replace that color, and we're gonna use a slightly darker green. Something more like that. And since this is going to be a glitter, um, we'll do a grading overlay. Just like that. 90 degrees, yep. We're going to put one thing in the middle at exactly 50%. That's just going to be white. And that's going to be a, a glittery. Uh, we're going to do a green. That's going to match. And we're going to do a red. It's going to match. But we're going to reverse it. And on top of that, we're going to do a small outer glow on this. Not that. Although that didn't look bad. That wasn't what I had in mind. I was just going to do a white. Although black do be looking good. What's it look like with just the drop shadow? Whoops. Tuck in the drop shadow a little bit. Like, truthfully, like, that's not bad. Like, that drop shadow, it adds something to it. Like, for real. I think if we did like a very small inner stroke, like of just a couple, maybe even outer. Yeah. Oh man, that's actually, that's going to look nice on the cup. With it being a glitter cup, I think it'll look really nice. Um, not that it matters, but we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and center it just because I'm like that. Uh, everything should be good and centered now. Is this really what we want though? Red. I feel like the gradient could be better. I feel like something more like, more like that would fit what we're doing. That's kind of cool. Like, I like this cup design. We're going to roll with this. Um, tumbler. Uh, we're going to name it Grinch Tumbler. And I don't know about y'all, but I the way I do mine, I, I like for anything sublimation, it goes under Southpaw Studios, and I have everything by what it is. So we'll go ahead and print this and uh, and get this going. All right, guys, uh, these are really easy to do. Um, 
if you do if you already do coffee mugs, these are a very natural, uh, easy thing for you to do. Uh, to get started, you'll just need some uh, one to do. These are just 20 ounce straight tumbler. Um, I'll put a link where I got them in the description below. I can't remember exactly offhand, but I'll, I'll do some research and grab that. Uh, you'll need tape to hold everything in place. Uh, you'll need scissors. Uh, let's see, shrink wrap is what, I, is what we'll be using in this one. The, the shrink wrap method is way better, um, quite a bit. Uh, use your toaster oven. I usually get an aftermarket uh, thermometer for my toaster oven. Obviously, you'll need something to sub. We've already got that printed. For the shrink wrap, you'll need uh, a heat gun. I got this one from Harbor Freight. Um, it's like a $20 heat gun. I'll put a link in the description for that as well. But so we'll go ahead and get cracking on this. All right, guys. Uh, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and cut the image out. So we'll go ahead and uh, do this. This will be much easier if I just position my camera right, but it's okay. We'll go ahead and do this. Get it lined up nice and neat. I try to hold it close to the edge so we can get a good accurate cut. That's not quite going to do it, but it'd be all right. So, so, so we, uh, what we did, we left a little bit on the edge. So we're going to take our scissors and kind of trim that up a little bit. If I can get that little of an edge. That's a tiny edge. That's just a little slip of paper. But there we go. Needless to say, that works. We'll go ahead and rock, rock that. So we'll go ahead and move over to the next step which is uh, getting everything together. Um, I will go ahead and plug up my heat gun and all that and we'll, we'll get situated. Just wrap it the best we can. We're gonna have to pull our edge down a little bit. Get it nice and even. And just kind of hold it tight, tuck it, and go with it. I think this is slightly tapered. That's why I'm having problems with it. I think this cup is tapered. But that's okay. So there we go. We got a little bit of overlap, but it's not, it shouldn't be that bad. Should still be really nice. All right, we got color all the way around. So now we can go ahead and plug in our heat gun and have fun with that. This is what I, probably the what I consider the funnest part is actually using the heat gun, if you don't know the truth about it. So we'll go ahead and plug this guy in. Plug up our heat gun. There we go. And good to go. Now, a, a trick to this stuff is to uh, kind of get it good and fluffed out, which with this being a tapered cup, it may be a little easier to get in. But usually it's kind of a pain to get it to, to go. At least I have problems with it. There we go. I was going to say make sure I actually put it in right. All right. Now what you'll want is you'll see the bottom. You'll see a lot. And you'll see a little bit at the top. Just make sure that you got that. Now when you put the heat to it, it immediately... Uh, make sure we're in camera good. I actually need gloves for this. That would be really bad if I started heating that up. Glove on the right hand. I mean, you could probably do it without, but safety first and then as soon as this gun gets hot you'll see it start to there it is in my opinion get one end done and then, then we'll flip the cup over and start start from the bottom and just go up
and just do it all the way. And then when you get to the top, just kind of so you can get everything nice and shrink in. And then just give it kind of a once over to make sure you got most of the bubbles out. Get nice, good pressure on it. I think we're good to go. Now at this point, your cup should look something like this. And at this point, we can go ahead and uh, fire up our oven. So we'll go ahead and put the, we're going to be putting the oven at, uh, we're going to set it to 400 degrees and we're going to go ahead and preheat that. So I'll go ahead and get that going and we'll go ahead and pause the filming while we uh, wait for this to heat up. All right, guys, uh, our oven is up to about 370 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put this in. Uh, we're going to be doing this for seven minutes at around 370 degrees. When I when I put some air in the oven, when I open it, it's probably going to go back to about 350, but that's fine. Uh, but the important thing is leave it in there for about seven minutes, and then we're going to pull it right out. All right, here we go. This thing's like to roll, and it's scary. All right, there we go. So we'll go ahead and let that bake, and uh, and I'll see you again in about seven minutes. All right, here we go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get, get this out of the oven. We're going to turn the oven off. And we're going to go ahead and get that. Oh, shoot. I totally didn't put on another glove. <laughs> that was going to be a bad day. Tell you what. All right, we got some peeling. It's a very hot... Very hot. Ooh, that's gotta go back in there for a minute. That's hot. Good lord, that's hot. Put on some thicker gloves and switch hands. Just keep peeling. wonder why in the world it uh, stuck so bad. Like, I've never had a cup stick like this. Then again, I've never done a glitter cup either. Like, why is that so... That just didn't turn out as good as some of the other cups. Like, they're doing the same method I did the, this cup. And it's literally flawless. I wonder if there's something up with these glitter cups. I'm gonna go wash it off and put some water on it and try to get this uh, stuck tape off real quick. All right, guys, after, uh, after cleaning it up a little bit, cleaning off some of the paper resin, paper, paper stuff, I mean, granted, there's some overlap on some of the seams, but it's not bad. Like, it looks really good. Uh, the metallic's just a little different than the normal cups, but overall, I'm pretty thrilled with it. I, I was just worried seeing all the paper residue, and it turned out really nice. Like, it looks really good. Um, all right, guys, in closing, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the cup, uh, but the metallic doesn't take the ink the way the uh, white ones do. At least in my experience, uh, like the, the white ones just take the ink so darn well and they just look so perfect and it's just, it's just tough to beat the regular white ones compared to those metallic ones. But yeah, um, as always, if you, I'll leave everything in the description on how to do this. Um, all the, all the equipment, all the, uh, blanks, everything. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this content, just, uh, give, just give me a like and hit that subscribe button for future for future content, and I appreciate it, guys.